Hi everyone, welcome back to Story Saturday here at Hedgehog Hollow and we're back with Deflecto. I've got three of their new totes that we got a sneak peek of at Creativation. I'm super excited because they've got some really cool measurements and things on top and I have set them up in different ways. So each one is full of a different craft, a different way you can use it. So we're going to run through all of those and I'm going to share with you what might fit in your craft room or for other crafts around the house. So let's get started. <music> with this one here at the front. So this is the smaller of the totes, but you see it's longer. It's kind of like the traditional toolbox shape. So you could use this as a toolbox. You could use it as a crafty toolbox. It has just a little clip here on the front. It does have a carry handle as well. Um, and inside you have a tray. So this is how the tray comes. It's divided down the middle here. You've got a really nice handle to pick it out. And then lots of space in the bottom. I've decided to use this as my glue gun box because I have lots of different glue guns, um, but quite often I want to use it maybe around the house. I want to use it in different places. So I've got a couple of glue guns in here. I have a silicone mat to use, and then I have all of my fun colored glue sticks in the top here. So I can have my glitters and my colors and those kinds of things. And I think this works really well, but you could use it for drawing. You could use it for stamping. You could use it for knitting, beading, all sorts of fun things. You could even line um, like this area in here. You could line this with some felt and then you could use it for beading. So that's one option. So this is the more traditional style. Um, but the other two are the ones that I'm really excited about. So these are a new, completely new design from Deflecto. Again, they have the carry handles on top so you can lift them up. But they both have this area. I'm going to just move this one in here. So you've got this area in to on top that has all of these markings in. And what you do is you just lift these two little pieces up. It's hinged and these are divided. So you can put all of your little, um, you know, notions and things in there. If you are a sketch artist, you could put like your kneadable eraser and some pencils in here. Just pop some felt at the end um, for the tips of your pencils. You could put your sharpener and things in there. And if you're crafting on the go, you could use one area as like a little trash to put in your sharpenings and things. The same it goes on the smaller one here. And this one I've already set up. Um, let me show you. So let's get your finger underneath and you open it up. So this one I've done as a knitting box. So I've got my stitch holders in here, my needle tip protectors, my counter, my scissors, and some clips in here. But the thing that I really like is on top, you've got this here. So these markings, these are inch markings that you can see on the top here. And of course, if you're doing a pattern or you're being creative in some way, like if you're knitting in particular, it'll say, you know, knit stocking stitch for three inches. So it's just really nice to have these markings and you can measure whatever you're doing. If you're doing maybe carpentry or something else that needs measurements, you can check all of your measurements on the go because that's built in. You don't have to take a ruler with you. And I think that is a really, really nice part of this storage. It's probably my favorite part. As I say, this one I've made into a, a knitting box. You can see it's translucent. It's just frosted inside. So um, you could put knitting across here. I'm gonna do that in an Instagram TV later in the month. Um, but you can pop everything in here and then it has a little side clasp just like that. This opens up and you open this side clasp as well. And inside, again, you have that nice little tray that you can lift out as a handle. You've got, you know, room to put needles or a crochet hook. I've got my darning needles in here. And then what I do was I put my yarn underneath. And because there's a little hole in the middle here, I can pull my yarn through and I can keep my yarn in here. And if I'm crocheting maybe on the go, if we're on a road trip, if we're on an airplane, any of those kinds of things, or even just at home because we do have a cat and she likes to play around with my knitting. Um, I can just do that and I can work on my project at the same time and then I still have a place to put my project and keep it separate in the top or my different sizes of needles for that project can also go in here. And then when I want to go again, I just lift the handle, pop it on top and do up my two side clasps. So that is really, really easy. It's a nice size um, and I really enjoy using that one. Now for the larger one, I set this up as an on the go box, but it also works great statically in my craft room. So again, if we open the two side panels, we lift this piece up. And so in here I have some scissors, some tape, um, a little paper rotary cutter that I use. So I can put some basic tools in the top. Um, works really, really well. And then underneath I have all of my six by six paper pads or a good selection of them. And you can see it fits all of these perfectly and I can just scroll through like this, find what I want to get, grab one out, 
cut it. Of course, I've got all of those measurements on the top if I need them as well. And I think this is really great for whether we keep it in our craft room or whether we want to take it on the go. So maybe you go to crops and classes and things, then this is a really great way to go. But you could use these for first aid, you could use them for yarn, for beading, for carpentry, like if you like to do wood turning and things. You could use them for watercolors because you could fit a lot of watercolor palettes and things in here and your brushes in the top. Loads and loads of different options. I mean, Maddie would really like one for her anime. She could put her sketchbook in here, some markers standing upright because you've got a nice amount of height in here before this tray goes on. You can see I've got a whole six by six paper pad under there so she could put her sketch paper under there. Um, and then she could have some of her tools and things in at the top as well. So I think these are really, really cool storage bins. I would love to know what you would store in here. So make sure you leave me a comment below. It gives us some more storage ideas. Um, you could use them as say around the house, you could use them as toolboxes, first aid, you could use them in the pantry, maybe store all your food decorating things, all your Christmas cookie cutters and those kinds of things could go in here. So lots and lots of different options. I want to know what your, you would store in a set of these as well. And then check out next week, we've got another story Saturday, some fun new products, um, a little bit different to this. And I really want to share those with you as well. So come back next Saturday. We have story Saturday every single week. Um, something fun, something different, different ways to store things. If you're struggling to store something, let me know because I want to help you out. Make sure you've hit subscribe, rung the bell and given us a thumbs up. And I'll see you again next week for Storage Saturday. But I will see you tomorrow with another tip, trick, technique, or maybe something a little bit different. In the meantime, happy crafting and have a great day. See you soon. Bye.